What's up, TechHeads and Gamers? It's your boy, Mel, E to the Z to the E. So, I am doing a review, long overdue review of the Google Daydream headset. Um, so, I just want to show you guys what a gem this headset is. Not a lot of people know about this headset, but I think this headset is awesome. Um, so, I've owned it for about, it came out with the Pixel around the fall of, last year i've owned it for several months now six months i believe or maybe less i don't know but i got it the day it released it came with my pixel phone so i've um, been loving it ever since and uh, as you guys know there's a lot of other vr um, headsets out there like the playstation v on the oculus rift um, and then you have the samsung um, gear vr i think it's called um, but this right here is not like your typical um, VR, like expensive VR headset like the PlayStation VR or say the Oculus Rift because you actually need your cell phone to play this. So what happens here, if you open this right here, this is um, what holds it in right here. So if you open it, it has a spot for the controller to stay in right here so you guys can see um, this is pretty cool because you know um, trying to find the controller this small can be really annoying and difficult um, but they give you a place to put it right here which I think is awesome and so this latches again to close it so what you do is you put your phone right in here and then you close it and then you lash it and then you're good to go so I'll show you guys um, you know video later on on what the uh, UI looks like uh, what the software looks like running this um, which is also great but right now I just want to cover a little of the hardware in this video you'll see the software um, so just stay tuned to the end um, so this is well made uh, nice materials made out of cloth it's really comfortable I don't know if you guys can see um, right here but this is all cloth um, so when you put this in your head, it's actually really comfortable. Um, it doesn't feel like it's lightweight too, so it doesn't feel like you are carrying something uh, heavy in your head. Um, so this is where these two lenses right here, where um, it transfers uh, the image from your phone to 3D. Um, and it works really well, and you guys will see later on, I mean... Uh, the the apps, the games, just looks really nice on this on this device. Um, little Google Brandon right here, which is pretty cool. Um, so love the hardware. I just want to give you guys a look of what the hardware looks like, and then next we're going to go into software. So um, before we do that, though, I just want to talk about one of my biggest grip. Let me also talk about the controller. So this is the controller. It's pretty cool. So up here, if you guys can see right up here, this is actually a touchpad. Um, so it's like a mouse. You use it to move around and you can click on it. See how it clicks. And so this is a game that requires like, you know, shooting or something or, you know, um, magic wand click this and does that so this circle right here is the home button um and this is a light indicator right here to show you when it's paired um so it's pretty convenient this is the volume rocker up and down and yes yeah, pretty comfortable guys really really comfortable i think this is uh, not a lot of people give credit to this control, but I think Google nail, nailed it with this controller. The games work really well, um, and it's really smooth. So currently right now, there's over 155 apps and games available for the Google Daydream headset, um, which is a lot. It's a lot of content. Google promised about 50 apps by the end of last year, but the fact that right now there's over 155 shows Google's commitment to um, this this device. So yeah, my biggest uh, drawback of flow with this device is the fact that it overheats. So if you put your phone in here, close it, and you're playing the game, after three minutes, it starts to get hot, and then you start to feel it. Like, no lie, no joke. You can read forms. You can read what others have to say about it. 
but it's a real issue. And till now, Google hasn't fixed it. Um, so I'm currently using my Google Excel phone on this. Um, and there are several other phones that uh, can work with this. I think the Motorola uh, Z or X phone is one of them. I don't know about the others. But yeah, it's a problem, guys. If you can't play this more than three minutes without it getting hot. And to this day, Google has not fixed that. That would be my biggest complaint about uh, this headset. And so I will uh, just um, stop with the hardware. You guys have seen enough of it. I'm trying to move it around so you guys can see what it looks like. So this came free also with my um, headset. The other thing to mention is to charge this mic, uh, this remote is actually USB type C. So that's awesome. That's the new, um, USB port these days and a lot of things are convert into it. So it's pretty cool to know that the same charger that came with my pixel phone can charge that So it's awesome. All right guys, this is the hardware next we're going to go to software So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but um, this is me just uh, giving you guys a tour of what the Google uh, interface is going to look like, the Google Daydream interface. So I already showed you guys the hardware, and so this is me just doing a video of what the software actually looks like. Um, so to get started, here we are. Okay, so when you boot it up, again, this is the controller that I showed you guys. You just move it around, um, and this is the overface. It shows you um, what's new, like the newest apps up here. So this is YouTube uh, VR, and this is uh, View and Play Store, and this is in place there as well so these are your recent apps down here and then this is the google play store and then this is the, your library of apps and then this is your settings um so let's just go to the google play store you're gonna see um apps here that you can purchase so it's pretty cool because you don't actually have to like um use the uh, Google Play Store on your phone. You can just use the Daydream uh, app and you can see all this. So as you can see, it's pretty big, bold, and uh, the interface is in 3D as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. There are a couple of sales right now on some Google um, Daydream games. And so something that I've said uh, with this um, Google Google Daydream platform is Google is taking this very seriously. They have some really high profile games as you guys can see here um, <clears throat> for this platform already and they have a ton of apps. I believe uh, there's 155 plus apps and games already available on this platform and this just came out about six months ago so you can see stuff like Flash, um, Metboat, yeah, just a ton, a ton of app, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, HBO, Google Play, and then ton of games too, um, so, yeah, guys, this is, I'm telling you, the content that's in here is pretty remarkable, it's pretty amazing, um, so, all these games are available, all these apps are available, and the list just keeps going, um, and going, and going. Have their little hiccup. Um, so yeah, Gun Jack, I mean, this is a real high-profile game available. Um, so yeah, that's just the Play Store, uh, just to give you guys a... An overview of uh, the tons of apps and games already available on this platform and like this is the interface you can look around you can see like trees you can hear water it's very detailed very rich and then you can use the controller to move around um, like this and the different apps so again I think Google did an incredible job with this. Um, they made a lot of the applications available, like YouTube, Google Photos, um, Google uh, Street View, 
um, so I can you know show you some of these apps but um, yeah just want to give you guys you know an overview of what the interface looks like and what um, some of the apps seems like. dream so I really recommend this product I don't think a lot of people know about it um, as you can see down here um, it's just saying use left to swipe swipe so I can go to let's go to Norway highlights let's go to the top and so here I can look around get a view of what this place looks like without actually f you know physically going there and see these dots I can click on it to keep moving um, and I can play a slideshow of it so it will just take me like through little slideshows um, so now if I want to go back to the home menu see like it takes me from one area to the other so if I want to go back to the menu, just hit the circle button, which is kind of like the home button on the phone, and it takes me back here. So this is just the overview of um, Google Daydream uh, headset. This is what the interface looks like. I think this is an awesome uh, product. It's very affordable. I think it's 70 bucks right now, and uh, this came from my Google Pixel phone, so... Um, I'm really lucky, but if you want to shell out money for a good 3D uh, VR device, I mean, this is not a bad bet. Now in the fall, I'm hearing from Google I.O. today that they're going to release standalone headsets where you don't actually need a phone to run these apps, and I think that's going to be pretty cool as well. So if you want to hold up for that, um, Google said it's going to be available this fall. If you find this video helpful, uh, hit the like button if you want to see more content and reviews on Google's product or other technology products, subscribe. I hope you guys like this. Please hit the like button and uh, just hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. Peace.